In today's video, I'll be showing you 10 ways to upgrade your LEGO Clone Troopers, and the upgrades will slowly get better and better until the very end when I show you how to get rid of helmet holes in under 30 seconds. Let's get into it. The first thing you're going to want to do when upgrading your Clone Troopers is to make sure they're as accurate as possible. And right now, this Clone Trooper is very accurate. Except for this one part right here. And the way we can fix this is with upgrade number 10, the inaccurate leg fixer. Now you might be asking yourself, what's wrong with these legs? They're very detailed. Well, there is actually a very big problem. If you look at the older LEGO Clone Troopers, they all have this black piece where the legs connect to the torso. And for some reason, these newer ones have a white piece there. And it looks so much better with the black piece. And it is less bland than just the plain white piece. And an easy way to fix this would just be to throw the older legs on the newer LEGO Clone Trooper. But what if you don't have those? Well, that's where the Lego rubber band comes into play. Huh? Yes, you heard me right. They make Lego rubber bands. And if you don't have that, you can just use a normal black rubber band. So what you're going to want to do is grab the clone's legs and wrap the band around them. You can also wrap in between legs for an even better look. Then you put the torso back on and voila. Now you have an even more accurate clone that gets to still keep the awesome leg piece. So now that our clone is looking nice and accurate, it's time to make him look less bland. And we can do that with upgrade number nine, shoulder coverings. So the most basic way to use a shoulder covering is just to throw on one of these colored shoulder ponchos that go with stormtroopers or sometimes even clone troopers. But there's so much more you can do than just that. You can also use capes, bags, this weird spiky thing, and many other things to give your clones a unique look. But if you don't have any of these things, there is actually a very easy way to get a really cool looking shoulder covering. And the way you do that is just take off two snowtrooper waist capes, fold them both in half and then in quarters, and then put them both on a clone trooper, and this gives it a really cool double shoulder poncho look. A shoulder covering also looks really good on this shock trooper, which has already been enhanced with upgrade number 8, Colorized Arms. Well, I think the title of this upgrade is pretty self-explanatory, but if you don't know what it means, here is Lego Shock Trooper, and this is the upgraded Shock Trooper. As you can see, my version of the Shock Trooper has red arms and looks a lot better. And you can't only do this with the Shock Trooper, you can do this with many different troopers, like this clone pilot. If we give him yellow arms, he looks a lot cooler. And we can also do this with the 501st Captain that came in the 501st Battle Pack. You can give him blue arms, and he just looks a lot better. Now, a clone doesn't need to have a certain type of armor to get colorized arms as well. You see, if we just rip these arms off this Kiminoan here and put them on our clone trooper, it gives him this really cool light blue arm design. All right, so after that upgrade, our clone is looking pretty sweet right now, but the helmet is still completely bare. Now, an easy solution to this is to just throw on a visor, but we are not going to do that. Enter upgrade number 7, the secret helmet attachments. Now most people think that the rangefinder and visor are the only clone trooper helmet accessories, but that is not actually true. If you have ever built a LEGO City set, you are probably familiar with this helmet piece right here. It actually shares a very similar connecting system with the clone helmet for attaching accessories to it. This means you can attach goggles, visors, and many other different city accessories to the clone troopers. And I think they actually look really good. I think that these two look the best for basic clone troopers, but I think these goggles actually look really good with the clone gunner. We'll also add some goggles to our clone, of course. Now the next enhancement you can make to your clones is to make them wider. And this is where upgrade number six, back accessories, comes in. So of course, LEGO does have an official backpack build they use, but it is not very good. So I decided to upgrade that with three different backpack builds here. The first one is using a jetpack, and the second one is using a weird mask I took off of an AIM agent from Marvel, and the third one is a brick-built backpack that can actually store a thermal detonator. Some other official LEGO back accessories you can use is you can use this brown backpack for Kashyyyk Troopers, you can use this yellow oxygen canister and this yellow life raft on this upgraded clone pilot over here. It just, it gives him more of a yellow design. You can also use this underwater breathing mask on this clone pilot to make it seem like he has some oxygen while he's flying his ship. Another brick built backpack you can use, you can make this small backpack and this works well with Kashyyyk troopers. You can also use this blue cape that came off of Lando Calrissian and put it on a 501st trooper to just kind of make him actually look like Captain Rex. We're going to give our clone the jetpack backpack. Well, what if you don't want your clone to have a backpack? Well, there is still a neck upgrade you can make. Upgrade number five, the rubbery helmet enhancer. So this is another upgrade that requires a Lego rubber band, but it is a lot easier to do. So what you're going to want to do is take a clone trooper, rip off their head and helmet, and then wrap the rubber band around their neck stub. Then put the head back on and then the helmet, and now your clone is upgraded. Well, how does this upgrade your clone trooper? Well, 
This actually makes the clone look really cool in the back because something I really like about the LEGO Stormtroopers is how they have dual molded helmets so you can kind of see the black peeking through. And what we did is we basically just did that with this clone trooper. So now the clone trooper has that nice black seal around the edges and I think it looks a lot better than a normal clone trooper. This next upgrade is something that's very annoying when it's not included in a LEGO set and that is upgrade number four, leg attachments. And what I'm speaking of in particular is waist capes. So LEGO used to include cloth waist capes in their sets, and now all of a sudden they started printing their waist capes on. And lots of people are mad because cloth waist capes are way better and the printed ones just don't look very good. Well, an easy way to fix this is just to put on a waist cape, but there's more you can do than just that. I actually found some really cool custom waist attachment ideas that you can use, and one of them is using that same AIM agent mask piece. If you put it on the clone's legs, it actually kind of looks like a side pouch, so that can work. You can also use the Lego Batman belt and put that on the clone pilot that we've been upgrading slowly. Now he has even more yellow on him. You can also use this forest cloth piece on this Kashyyyk trooper to make him look even more camouflaged. One of the weirdest ones that actually works is you can actually put an huh? air tank on one of their legs, and I'm sure there are many more things that would work as a waist attachment for clones. And if you don't want to use any of those, you can just put on a Snowtrooper waist cape that actually looks really good and basically enhances any clone. This clone is looking absolutely epic, but he's basically useless in a fight. It's time for upgrade number three, brick-built weapons. So if we wanted him to have a weapon, we could just give him a Lego weapon, but I think there are some better options. Here are some really cool basic clone blasters that you can use instead of the normal Lego ones. We have blaster pistols, we have blaster some machine guns, we have snipers, and then we have the normal clone blaster, which I think looks super cool. And if those aren't enough defenses for you, here are some bigger guns. Here's a custom minigun I designed with a bunch of binocular pieces, and here's a submachine gun that I designed with a bunch of binocular pieces as well. And then here's this huge flamethrower build that comes with its own backpack. I don't think our clone is defenseless anymore. So now this clone has plenty of offense, but where's its defense? Upgrade number two, brick built armor. So the first shield we're gonna try is this Lego Minecraft shield. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. Here's a brick-built shield that uses the same technique to attach to the hand. I tried to make the same colors as the Republic, and I even added a slot for a clone trooper to peek through. Another brick-built design is the one I have here. This one has a Republic logo and might have an illegal building technique, but I really like the color scheme on this one. I would not want to be in a war against this clone. Those droids better run. After all those upgrades, our clone is looking absolutely insane, but there is still one more upgrade to do. The moment you all have been waiting for, upgrade number one the helmet hole remover. So this is a very easy thing to do. It takes less than 30 seconds and you don't need to buy any custom helmets or anything. All you need is some glue. And really any glue works. I found luck with school glue and just basically glue stick glue. And what you're gonna wanna do is take the helmet and pour some of the glue or smear some of the glue on top of the hole, then push it in with a toothpick or something like that. Wipe away the extra glue and there you go. The helmet hole is no more. It looks a lot better than there just being an empty hole there. And if you get tired of it being filled, you can always just push it out with a toothpick. So there you have it guys. Those are 10 ways to upgrade your LEGO Clone Troopers. What was your favorite upgrade in the video? Comment down below. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one.